he's really a nice guy. <laughs> straight to questions from you guys because there's so many of you here and so many questions I'm sure that want to be asked so if you guys just want to stick your hands up and we'll go question by question and get these guys to answer what you want to know so who would go first you dude tell us about global force Jeff it's coming <laughs> we're going to start running shows in June we just announced last week uh, we partnered with minor league baseball in the states and we're gonna, uh, we've announced I think 10 dates and we've probably got 15 more, probably all, it, by, by the end of the year we'll run 25, we go to the Orleans Arena in July, uh, start the tapings there, uh, July, August, and October are the dates, and uh, we're going to be uh, doing a roster reveal in early May, and I know that is the uh, million dollar question, so stay tuned, we got a, a lot of exciting things coming up. Coming to the UK? Absolutely. Event guy, and of course, 
that one happened. If Andre didn't let it happen, then uh, you know, it was kind of the, one of the high points of my career, if not the high point. I'd have to go with uh, bringing ECW back on WWE's stage, but I, I really don't even consider that a storyline because it was just... It happened. It was real. You know what I mean? So, but by far, that was one of the most uh, motivating parts of the uh, WWE run for me was, uh, you know, first, first it was bringing ECW back just for one night. And that was awesome. And that became an annual thing. And then we were bringing it back as a third brand. That was uh, for me, and I know for all the uh, ECW fans, that was incredible, for sure. And that's why that match with Cena will always stand out for me. Not just because of the, that match and winning the WWE title. That crowd was a unique one night out of my whole career kind of atmosphere. You know, that crowd put off and then it was because I was bringing ECW back and that's what that night was about. It was not the best night of your career. Uh, it would have to be, you know what I mean? It was uh, definitely the, uh, um, the, the moment and, and like I said, all that momentum because I honestly, I mean, it's, it came across like a storyline but it, it was such a shoot for me. I, I, that night for me was about about all of us, everybody that, you know, had that ECW spirit that wouldn't let it die and it was us telling Vince, you know, no, you can't bury it, you know, it's, it's here to stay, and, and so that night, and, and moving forward from that, I knew, moving forward, that, uh, that that was gonna, that was gonna happen, the whole, the whole, uh, playing ground of rest of the industry changed, now there's a third brand, and it was <laughs> extreme championship wrestling, which, of course, has always been my best showcase. <laughs> So it's 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 harder for me to answer this question. The things that I did in the ring were just kind of one-off, momentary things. But the this I'll call it a storyline that I had with Stone Cold Steve Austin um, was pretty fun because of the history associated with it and taking you know a little bit of reality and history and kind of turning it into you know something that's current and and what the fans really wanted to see and then to be able to get in the ring with Steve. Um, in Montreal was pretty exceptional. So that would have to be right up there, I think, for me personally. Oh, gosh. Uh, there, there's a lot. I mean, I was just sitting here trying to think, all right, uh, the moon dog thing was real in a lot of ways. Nobody in this room probably remembers that, but uh, it was hardcore before hardcore. But, but as going through the years, and he just Rob touched on something about being real, um, just a couple of years ago, the Jeff Jarrett, Kurt Angle, uh, Karen Angle saga at that time. Uh, it, it was really intense. Scary, actually, from my perspective. <laughs> <laughs> we followed Jeff around with a mop and a bucket. <laughs> well said. Any sport I could possibly do. And I've been asked this question. 
goof off and didn't didn't know I was considered athletically gifted till far into my career. I actually was a bit of a nerd, and I think I was supposed to be uh, smart. I think I was supposed to do something using my brain. Yeah, and uh, and I like to write. And I suppose if I hadn't decided to be a wrestler, I would have followed. Uh, I would have followed that path, and I still imagine I will transition over. I have uh, so many writing projects. I just lack the dedication to to make that accessible to you. But it's all up here. <laughs> Porno star. <laughs> Sales at some capacity. 